We're in Vegas, baby, but our present issue. We thought we were going to be able to park the RV at Mandalay Bay According and stay to some in the hotel. Article that we read, which apparently is outdated because uh, now it says clearly no oversized parking. Yeah, no oversized vehicle parking. So now we are trying to find a place to put the RV and then check into a hotel. So we'll let you know how that goes. But if you had a suggestion to our dilemma, it doesn't help us now, but put it in the comments below for somebody in the future. <laughs> Okay, so finally found a place to both stay and park the RV, Westgate off of Paradise. Fairly cheap room, I think we paid like 90 bucks and free RV parking, so everything worked out perfectly. Now it's time to, you know, Vegas, baby. Okay, so I've never been to Vegas before, but Victoria is the one-time veteran. One time. So we're trying to locate food. And first things first, though. Yeah, yeah. This is one of those places where you can the drink, where you can drink on the street. So. Roadies. Of course. You happy now? Pizza. <laughs> He's getting hangry. He thinks I'm the only one. <laughs> it was hit me pretty bad. <laughs> Yummy. Just got these delicious drinks that work. Sixty-seven dollars. What? Sixty-seven dollars. Yeah, that's real. Vegas. They're really good. I forgot how expensive Vegas is though. Two drinks. Sixty-seven. Hey. If you hold on to this though, you get like $15 off your next one wherever you go. Off of your next first child donation? Yeah. <laughs> Good lord. Bellagio water fountain time. Iconic. Good morning. morning. From Vegas, Westgate parking lot RV was nice and safe all night. We obviously got a hotel room, so um, but no concerns, no break-ins, no like horror stories, nothing like that. Uh, there, again, there's a couple of other RVs right here uh, that have been parked out here. How do we feel about our night in Vegas? Well, it was fun, but apparently I uh, can't count to 21. Well, most people can't count to 21 when it really counts. You know what I mean? Gambling's bad, kids. But it was nice to stay in a hotel for a night. Nice, and again, it brings back the whole, like, God, I hate having to pack things. Yeah, we forgot a lot of stuff in the RV. We kept having to go back. Yeah. But on the right side, when was the last time you got to dance in the shower? That's true. It was nice. Yeah, yeah, it's a big shower. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, on the road to Zion, we go. Good sightseeing out there, Barley. Hey, Victoria, you see what that is over there, right? Looks like a real nice plateau. A to me. real nice plateau.
We had to stop off real quick to take a picture because the setting right here behind me, coming into Northwest Arizona, uh, up near the Utah border. Beautiful. Yeah, we're about an hour out from Zion. It's just picturesque mm -hmm. so far. Yeah, wow. It's, I just said. Hi, Cal. Sorry. Does it, <laughs> does it feel like Mordor to you? Like, you know, from like Lord of the Rings, it's just so like juddy and huge and just rock walls everywhere around you. We're like five miles away from our RV park. We're staying at Zion Canyon RV Campground. Victoria likes this place because we're not driving up through these, we're driving like on it's, the valley floor. Yes. <laughs> We made it to the campground. This Bills is are ready. Springdale, right? Springdale. It's shockingly cute and we weren't expecting it. It's that. very cute. Yeah, it's like, there's people everywhere. It's... Expected it to be a little more rugged, yes. but very cute. Yeah, straight back to the pavilions right there. Or maybe that one. I think that one would be too different. So what do you think about this RV park right now? I love it. Yeah, we are right along the river and we were just coming out here to have like a sunset drink. This, there's so many people out and about right now and we love this style of RV park where there's kids, adults, everyone's just hanging out, grilling, like. It's a real vacation spot. It's like a real actual vacation spot versus like a living spot. Mm -hmm. And we just really enjoy when we get these opportunities. Um, you know, as full timers, we run into it less than we do, it feels like. Mm -hmm. We were sitting right here along the river. That's the RV park. And Victoria was like, had a brilliant idea. She was like, so we don't bother anybody. Why don't we just cross the river ankle deep? And here we are. We got our own little private beach. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> First morning in Zion, and our friend Danny over here, she's in the truck, uh, has arrived. Plan. First things first, we're gonna go try to get bikes, which is literally across the street. Yes. Right into town, get some breakfast. We actually have to move spots before noon, so we're not gonna try to do too much before then. But hopefully, when we get back, we can move spots and get our day started. Yeah. Um, we're just kind of like we can literally see our other, our second spot from where we stand. And we're just kind of waiting on people to leave. We did finagle a second night here, and we're going to try and finagle a third and see what happens. I mean, most people will just leave it in the center of the three ring sprocket, uh, but that will give you a, a really major power adjustment. This is a pretty nice spot. Okay, so we've made it into our new location approximately four spaces away, but this location much better has the river right behind it and our bedroom window faces that. Mm -hmm. So not a bad way to wake up. Now that move time is over, we're gonna check with the office, see if we can finagle another night here. On our way out, we're gonna bike down to some hiking trails. And uh, Victoria just nailed this parking job. It was not easy, it's pretty tight space. Heads up on that. The picture is the best. <laughs> That's funny, because we were just hanging out across the river last night and two deer walked right behind us. So. Watch out, y'all.
shade. Shade. Oh my god. How'd it happen? Sorry, we stopped short and then Danny's like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling Victoria, the most beautiful bike ride I've ever been on. Absolutely. And we just got in the park, so. It says this easy trail leads to a waterfall. At the viewing. So I need like waterfalls. Kind of Say I no want. more. I like waterfalls. I like easy. <laughs> An unpaved climb to a sandstone ledge. That doesn't sound like me. And make sure you don't get carried away. deer all the way down there just hanging out. Right here. Way down. Way down. Way right there. <laughs> Lower this way. Lower get you to the waterfall. Hi Is that that 30 talking? Yeah. I need knee she braces. wants knee braces. Oh no. I got old knees. This is where it begins. I know, 30. <laughs> <laughs> you have so much to learn, my love. <laughs> Gosh. Oh my God. That's where he's like, take me to the water. I know, right? Go, go, go. Highly recommend you uh, standing under that thing and wait for the wind to blow it your way. It down. <laughs> it's awesome. Ten out of ten would recommend. I agree. I'm actually kind of impressed that you're out there right now. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the waterfall is look as big. On that photo, dry Snack time. Okay, well, I understand now why Zion lands on so many top five lists because it is incredibly ominously beautiful out here. There's a deer hanging out in the river and Victoria's calling it like a dog. Come here. <laughs> Look this way. Plan is to get back on the bikes, ride back down the main road, and go get back to the RV park and hang out on the river, which is directly behind the RV. Oh, well, maybe a nap. Everything here is pretty. So just point a camera somewhere and you'll get the shot, <laughs> you know? Sorry, literally just happened and I'm still yeah, thinking. I'm sure. Uh, you want to get in the shade? Yeah. Let's get you in the shade over here. Can you walk? I think so. All right, let's do it. You're shaking your hand, babe. Ooh. 